Okay, I'm going to do a little vlog here for some movies I've seen today. Okay? I love movies. Great escape from reality. And I think there's nothing better than going to the movies and just watching a movie. So today, I go and watch. Uh, first movie I've seen was I Love You, Man. And I can't remember all the people's names in it, so I'm looking it up here. It's just that much simpler to do in life. So, it's got uh, good people in it, okay? Check this out. It's got Andy Samberg, Carla Galo, uh, J.K. Simmons, uh, the ever, ever hot Jamie Presley. Uh, it's got Jason Siegel, the dude from uh, uh, How I Met Your Mother. I think that's what he's in yet. Uh, John Favreau, or whatever his name is. Uh, Lou Ferrigno. Uh, Paul Rudd and uh, Rashida Jones. Some good people, man. Awesome movie. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But it's basically a movie about a real estate guy who, upon getting engaged, realizes he has no friends and uh, of, of the male uh, persuasion. And so he goes on a journey to find a friend, mm -hmm. makes new friends, but then, you know, causes some problems, good and bad and whatever. But it's an hilarious movie, and I think you should see it. I mean, on a scale of one to on a scale of one to five, I give it about a four. So I'm looking here on Flickster, and the average rating is about three. Looks, uh, I'd say it's a little better than that. So I'd say four. I just rated it a four. So uh, excuse me. I think it was a great, great show. But hey, that's just me, man. You know. And then after that, I saw the show Knowing, okay? Uh, and I thought it was good. A good little twist. I, I didn't really expect something. I didn't expect it to end the way it did. Totally. Did not expect that. But, you know, I'm not going to tell you how it ended because then it'll kind of ruin it for you. So, uh, I would definitely rate this movie at about a four, maybe four and a half. So... That's what I would go with. But this is the one where, um, hold on here. I don't get it. I just like to, they give better thing. Okay. Uh, had time capsules open and dug up after it's been buried for 50 years. And it's got some predictions on it. And they're trying to figure out what's going on and all that kind of crap. Okay, here's who's in it Nicholas Cage. Awesome. Uh, the little boy is uh, Chandler Canterbury. Never really heard of him or what he's done. Uh, Rose Burns, hot. Uh, then Adrian Pickering. Hello, hot. Uh, ben Mendelsohn and uh, who else is this guy here? I never really heard of him. Terry Camelot. So who cares? I haven't heard of him, so he don't count. Anyway, good movie. Uh, keeps you on your toes. It's suspenseful. You're not like, oh, God, what's coming up? Great movie. I liked it. You know, my movies, things, they really suck. But you know what? I don't care. Um, and then the third movie I've seen today, which was probably the weirdest. If you didn't pay attention, you could possibly get lost. And it totally did not end the way I thought. The, which, actually, the ending is what made it the better for me because it ended in a way that you're like, what? Movies don't end like that. That's what made it so awesome. Okay. Uh, it's the one with Julia Roberts, Clive Owen, uh, Tom Wilkerson, and Paul Giamatti, uh, who played a very good role in this. And it was just awesome. I mean, I would definitely rate this at about three and a half. So that's what I just rated anyway. Looks like. Uh, well, all around, looks like it was rated about three and a half. So, yeah, I, it's, that's about what I've seen. So, uh, basically a pair of corporate spies who share a steamy past hook up to pull off the ultimate con job. Couldn't have said it better if I said it myself. But anyway, so, yeah, that's the three movies I've seen today. Uh, I drank a crap ton of Diet Coke because they got free refills. That's awesome, so you don't have to buy one drink and keep refilling it between every show. It's awesome.